Welcome to Intellect Controls Group Incorporated presents how to link tag data in control logics to an Excel spreadsheet. To accomplish this procedure, you will need to know the name of the controller you wish to monitor. You do not have to open RS Logics to use the following procedure. This is only to show you where to find the processor name. You will also need to know the name of the tag or the name of the array that you wish to monitor. In this procedure, we're setting up a link between the tag in your Control Logics processor and a cell on an Excel spreadsheet. You will need Excel to accomplish a DDE link. In this example, the individual elements of the array can be named for clarity. You can copy or you can link a single tag or you can link elements of an array. RS Links has a capability called DDE or Dynamic Data Exchange. The key to doing this procedure is to establish a DDE link between the data in the processor and a cell in an Excel spreadsheet. First, Click on DDE OPC, then choose Topic Configuration. This is the DDE OPC Topic Configuration screen. In this screen, you should be able to find a topic by the same name as your processor. There may be several in this list, but you should be able to find the one you need. Left click on that topic for your processor. Now you need to click to establish a path for your processor. Click on the plus symbol to expand the correct driver. Now click on the plus symbol next to the Ethernet module to expand to see the backplane. Now expand the backplane to see the modules in your chassis. Next. Left click the mouse button on the processor to highlight the one you wish to link to, then click on the data collection tab to change our timing. There are several changes that you can make on the data collection tab, but the only one I'm interested in right now is the polled messages in milliseconds timing. This determines how many milliseconds elapse between updating your data. The default value is 1000, Perhaps 100 milliseconds would be suitable. Next, click Done to indicate that you're finished configuring the topic. Lastly, the software will ask you if you wish to update the topic. Click Yes. Now comes the part of the procedure where we create the link between your controller and the Excel spreadsheet. First, click on Edit. Next, choose Copy DDE OPC Link. This is where the fun starts. This procedure will be repeated for each element of your data you wish to link in Excel. Fortunately, when you are finished, you can save the Excel file so that you do not have to create it again. Step one, click on the plus symbol. Step two, click on the plus symbol next to the name of the topic you just modified or created. Step three, click on the plus symbol next to the word online to expand that entry. Next, left click on the tag or the array that you wish to use. At this point, you will see on the right hand screen a list of choices of elements you wish to link. Start with the first element you wish to link, click on it to, to highlight it. By now you know the drill, click on the OK button to proceed. In this example, I took the liberty to label 
the purpose behind this Excel spreadsheet and to create a name for each element of the array I'm trying to copy. So at this point, you want to choose the cell where you wish to place the data and right click. From the right click menu, select Paste Special. We're almost there. The next step is to choose Paste Link. Finally, you can now click on OK. This completes one element of the array. You must repeat the 10 step procedure for the remaining elements. The data will update automatically. The remaining 10 slides in this procedure will not be narrated by audio, but rather are just a repeat to show you the 10 steps involved to complete this procedure. Each element of the array that you wish to monitor in the Excel spreadsheet must be done with these 10 steps. Good luck to you. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. Feel free to send any feedback that you may have as to how to improve this presentation or for future presentations you'd like to see. Thank you. My name is Gary Crowder.